Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so let's look at the new uh, i5-10 600K Intel 10th Gen processor, how it compares to the uh, the i7 9700K, and then we'll uh, we'll flip back to the i5 9600K. So um, obviously, 9th Gen i7 has eight cores, eight threads. The uh, new 10th Gen uh, has less cores but has more threads and uh, base frequency is higher. Now, how does this uh, do for ranking? Uh, they've got it uh, with the single bench, okay? Uh, this is only one bench, so this accuracy is uh, questionable, but uh, single bench, they haven't ranked fifth. Um, and for a processor that will probably end up in the uh, 200 to 220 range, um, that's, that is pretty awesome, right? Now, let's look at uh, your core scores. So higher uh, first core, second core, and hangs in there on the quad core. So this is, uh, this is pretty impressive. Eight core, the i7 uh, starts to get away from it. And then eventually we get to the 64 core score. And you see that uh, the i7 is uh, better uh, OC'd. Now this is, uh, would appear that they did not do any overclocking. So uh, on the grand scheme of things, this 10600K may be a uh, better processor all around. Still has the lousy UHD 630 graphics. Uh, of course, the motherboard for this thing will set you back a ton. Uh, so, you know, there's a negative there. Now, um, comparing it back to today's i5-9600K, uh, just you can see it just dominates it in every category. Uh, except for the 8-core the uh, overclocked. Well, then again, once again, they did not overclock this. So... Um, you can only imagine what uh, these scores would be here. Uh, they should just be blanked out. Uh, so really you can't even look at that. But base, base speed wise, uh, it dominates. And even that is not far off from uh, what the night gen i5 is for overclocked, right? So then you look at the 64, if we can find it. So 1129 is just, that is amazing. That's one of the biggest improvements I've seen on a, a CPU from, uh, from Intel right there. Very impressive Intel. Way to go. So uh, let's go look at Newegg and see which ones are available. And also, I'll let you guys get an idea how much this stuff's going to cost. So... Earlier we did this and it came up right away. Oop, there we go. So you can pre-order your 10th gen now. Okay, I may have just clicked on the wrong button. Okay, so here you go. Um, they do not show the the 10 600K, the 10 400s in here. So we'll uh, I'll do another video checking that out. Um, this actually, for the money, seems like a heck of a deal because you're getting 9th gen i9 performance. Um, I don't even know what, what kind of performance you can expect out of this, but uh, we haven't looked at that one yet. So let me go back one more time. We want to, well, I guess we can't do it. Um, earlier I was able to do it, folks. This should do it. This will bring up what's what there is. So you can see these are the, the, the two processors that are actually available right now. And me, me, I'm probably going to make my first uh, tension is going to be an i7, uh, hopefully for the channel. Now, that's not really what I wanted to show you. So there's your prices there, okay? How much for these motherboards? That's really the question. How much is this going to set me back to get in the game? Um, 
269. So I'm not really excited about that aspect, folks. That's kind of a, uh, a bummer that it's going to cost that much to uh, just just be able to play. And will performance be that great? Okay, so here you go. Here is 149. I don't know what the M stands for. I'd have to look that up for y'all. Um, would assume these can all be overclocked. But uh, so 149. So for me to um, upgrade one of my rigs, it looks like it's going to be no cheaper than uh, 550 bucks, probably, unless I can, uh, assuming I can get a hold of that i7. All right. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like. Please subscribe.